think he did. Yeah, he did. That's what I thought. The NFL was not playing. You either wear the mask or you're going to get fined. <laughs> it's simple as that. Yep. You can't put the mask on your neck like a chin strap. Sorry. Mask must be on at all times. It needs to be kept on. Nick Saban successfully is right now on the field coaching George Alabama. I've not gotten a score on that game yet. Yeah, the score's tied. Seven all. Three or zero, zero. Nope, seven all. Oh, boy. Georgia and Alabama are both tied seven all. So both teams got their opening possessions and marched it right down the field. Yep. Now let's see if this game will settle into the defensive struggle that we expect it to be. And it looks like... A draft prospect title of Lawrence is looking like they're setting more record books for Clemson. Because like I said, he already did two of them already today. The most touchdowns he scored, which was five. The most yards he passed was 404. He's just a one yard shy of beating Deshaun Watson's record. Oh, he'll probably get that next week. We'll go past Sean Watson next week. Yeah, and the fine Irish beat the Louisville Cardinals 12 to 7. And Louisville had their opportunities to pull off the huge upset. Except, oh, I don't think. And those of you who are watching the North Carolina Florida State game, Florida State's leading 24 to nothing. Excuse me? Yep. Florida State's leading by four touchdowns. Florida State actually decided to show up and play today? Yes, they did. After getting boat raced and steamrolled and against Notre Dame. Yep. Oh my God! There may actually be a light at the end of the tunnel after all. Maybe. <laughs> and BYU beat Houston Friday night, forty-three to twenty-six. And that game was only a two. That game was only a three-point game heading into the fourth quarter. Actually, it was the score was forty-three twenty-six. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> And SMU survives Tulane in overtime, 37-34. Four. Thirty-four on overtime. Tennessee had lost big time as Kentucky snaps a 17-game losing streak against the Volunteers. In Knoxville, by the way. Yep, the first and game since 1986. 1984, actually. You're right. It was 84. 36 years, and they got one today. Yep. And Coastal Carolina beats Louisiana Wednesday by a field goal. And And those of you who are also watching the Virginia Tech Boston College game, that score is Boston College, Virginia Tech 17, Boston College 7. And that was worse. And I think on that note, I think this pod is going to be close. Now, next week. We'll have Sean Smith next week for part two yeah. of our chat with him about the end of the yeah. and what's ahead. But, and, most, and most of the time, if a college football team is acting like a pro football team, oh, Lordy, Phillies 1-3-1. One, the Eagles a win with three losses and a tie. Who's the other team that got the tie? Oh no! Cincinnati, who was yet to win a game yet? Uh, they won. They're one three one as well. <laughs> Atlanta hasn't won a game yet. The Giants and the Jets haven't won a game yet. The Giants are going to play against the Washington Football Team tomorrow. Oh, that that should, that should be a smart fest. The Jets are playing against the Dolphins. Sunday afternoon. Another, another snow fest. <laughs> another left riot. Green Bay against Tampa Bay. And Tampa Bay's 3 and 2 while Green Bay's 4 and 0. Brady Rodgers again. Yep. Kansas City versus Buffalo Monday at 5. 4 Central. Yep. The Cardinals and the Cowboys at 8 15. So it's going to be Kyler Murphy. Against Andy Dalton. Tyler, you mean Murray? Yes, 
Tyler Murphy with the Cardinals. Yes. The Cardinals just got him. And here's a little bit of a um, history fact for most of you people who know who Kyler Murphy is. Here's what you might not know about him. Kyler Murphy is, of course, of Korean descent. So he's partly Asian American. Asian African American, folks. Well done. As is Heinz Ward. Mm-hmm. And also, there's a little familiar branch to Kyler Murphy. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. He is related to somebody. I wonder who that could be. Here's a little homework. Here's a little homework for you folks. Many of the NFL teams have their own relatives on the team. Like the Patriots, they got Jason and Devin McCord. Before that, the Giants had both Tiki had Tiki Barber, and the Bucks had Rondé, his twin brother. Yeah, you know Thanksgiving in the Barber household is very entertainment worthy. Yep. Especially if they're on the same team. Well, that never happened, though. Yeah, because back then, Jason was with the Titans, while Devin was still with the Patriots. Then Jason went to Cleveland. And then he came to uh, New England. I got him, Ma. Come here, Brownie Pup. <laughs> For those of you who didn't hear the growling earlier, that'll be my one-year-old grandnephew, Zamir, because he likes to growl like a little puppy. There's a lot of things he ate. <laughs> and he's a smart little kid. Because if I said Pittsburgh Chip, he's going to growl like a puppy. But if I say any other team, he's going to squeal like that. And he is smart. Say hi. Well, he, he's a little bashful. And it looks like the final of it is Marshall 35, Louisiana Tech 17. Good win for Marshall. They keep rolling right along. They're 2-0 and in their division. 4-0 and overall. And as now for Romeo Cornell's Texans, they're going to try to look and try to knock off the number one team in the AFC South, the Tennessee Titans, tomorrow. Good luck with that. Because if that happens, it would throw the AFC South. Hey. The Not really. The Titans would still be at the top of the AFC South. Just find a way like you've been doing all season long. Just find a way. Yep. <sighs> Because all the times it was finding a way to put jail together. Which is why their record sits at 4 0 since the first time they've been 4 0 was 12 years ago under Kerry Collins. Yep. And that was back in 2008 where Kerry Collins was a Tennessee Titan up until he faced Favre in the Jets. And that. When they went from, ten, from 4 0 to 10 and 1 to 13 and 3. Even with the first round by, and they bunched it up when they played the Steelers in the playoffs. Yep, basically. Let's hopefully. Let's hope that let's hope that Ryan Tangle will keep the momentum going. He is only thirty-seven years old, folks. <laughs> he said it. He's thirty-seven years old, but at thirty-seven years old. He is doing something in Tennessee that Miami never allowed him to do. And that's run around. And let him be him. And it looks like the Army Golden Knights is back in full swing, being the uh, University of Texas San Antonio Roadrunners, 28 to 10. Good job by the key, by the Army Black Knights. And UAB Dragons versus Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Blazers win again. Yep. And that was a block punt. The score was 37-14. And the Blazers have now made it 21 straight without a loss. 
Claus at the grand old lady known as Legion Field. Super North Lady Texas Lady. is knocked out Middle Tennessee. Middle Tennessee, the Blue Raiders are a mess. Yep. They are a mess. All because he's led by a stock steal offense. Why on earth would the coach bench his son? Now that now they're led by Asher O'Hara. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Guy. That's even worse. Let's count the ways. Let's find out who, who which teams are better than MTSU right now. Memphis. Everybody. Is. Yep. Basically everybody in the God's green earth. Memphis is two and Memphis is two and one. Yep, Marshall is one four and zero. Oh. Conference. And Florida coach Dan Mullen has, in fact, announced he was positive. His game for their game against LSU is canceled until December twelfth, like we said. No, it's canceled as they were supposed to play today. <laughs> Yeah, that game got canceled on Friday. It yep. got moved to December 12th. Oh, Lord. Alabama did going to kick the field goal, so the score is 10-7. to 7. Alabama. Bam had, to, Bam had to set up for a field goal. Yep. Off the right foot. I have no idea. I forgot who the kicker's name was. But I can't even pronounce seven. his name correctly. It's like Shades of Rob Baronis. Because Robert Runners would do that off his right foot. Even off the side of his right foot. If he was still alive, God rest his soul. You know what? One of my favorite kickers. Number two. And now... Rest in peace, Tiger. man. And now I met this Tiger legend just filling his stead. Basically, Gostowski and his lovely bride decided to come back home. Basically. Yep. And when an offer from Tennessee came, he jumped at it. Yep. And his widow is finally back on the dating market. Did I miss something? Yeah, you forgot his widow is Terry Bradshaw's youngest daughter, Rachel. Wait. Oh, 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 yeah. Baroness was married to Terry Bradshaw's daughter. Yeah, he died when his truck went off the side of the road, rolled around, and he was in it. And it got caught wrapped around the tree. Hey. Everybody's a critic. Cut it out. Cut it out. So, I mean, everybody's a critic. I think on that note, I think we're done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are officially done for tonight. Join us next week when my previous guest from last week, Mr. Sean Smith, will be back for part two of our talk about the NWFL. And hopefully we will get, hopefully we will get Cliffy back on board and hopefully in a couple of weeks in the schedule. Yeah. With a few other interviews, hopefully on the back burner. So, until then... Your host is with the most is Josh and Fitzgerald. And yours truly, Luther King, and the boys of the nightmares, we are... Out of here!